Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading. I want to give the update for the large grow tent and the uh, new grow system we put in. You'd be surprised, we got some new growth and the, uh, the new uh, deep planting beds for the different greens. All right, let me grab the camera. Got my goggles here, put those on. So this tent is quite a bit brighter than it used to be. So let's get the camera over here, and give you a tour. Okay, so here's the red Russian kale. You can see that it's really sprouted up in one week. We've already got, you know, the cotyledons all popped out. We haven't got any of the true leaves showing up yet from what I can tell, but that's really nice growth after a week. And I have, I did use a, a sparser kind of planting in here and just kind of threw the seed around. So we'll see what comes up and what doesn't. And you got over here, we got the white Russian kale. It's sprouted, coming up, about the same height. And then of course we have the, uh, the pre-existing greens tray. So the Caribe cilantro with the Betamix behind it. And I did come down here this week and this is what our salad consisted of besides the, uh, the gourmet lettuce blend. We had the, uh, I came down here and harvested a lot of the Betamix, so we got, you know, that got thinned out quite a bit. As you can see, it's starting to really come alive in these new deeper trays. So I'm pretty happy about that. And we've got the uh, parsley over here, along with the uh, Thai basil in the back, over there in those two areas. And then we've got our papalo Mexican herb back there in the corner. We harvested a bunch of that on the lower limbs for uh, our salad this week. And it really gives you a nice spice to the, uh, the salad mix when you put that in. And then of course there's the, uh, the flat leaf parsley in there. Everything in these deep trays seems to really be starting to take off now, now that they're in uh, a little bit deeper soil media and they're getting to uh, expand their root uh, potential. So I'm really happy about that. Go to the other side of the tent here. And then of course we have uh, down there we have the, uh, the Bates Kale. You can see it's coming up, looking nice. So these things, these uh, kales seem to be sprouting really well inside this large tent. And then uh, we have another Beta Salad Mix uh, tray over here. And I harvested a lot off of that this weekend, or this past uh, like Thursday, Thursday, Friday. So we've been eating on that for our nightly greens. But it's bouncing back and you can see there's a lot of new growth. A lot of nice tender growth coming up through in here. So we're gonna be eating off of that this next week along with the stuff from the mid-size grow tent. And then we have our hanging basket here, which I'm not, I'm not seeing anything happen with that yet. And it's, it seems to dry out pretty quick. So I have to come down here at least once a day and give it a nice dosing of water. But, uh, you know, it's just an experiment. If I don't end up liking it, I'll take this thing and I'm going to put it outside and I'll use this for my early uh, spring planting or I may just, you know, put some, you know, flower, flowers in each of these baskets and just let it become a uh, pollinator island, stick it out in the yard or stick it up on the deck for Paula so that way she can have some fresh cut smaller flowers in it. But that's the thing with gardening, it's always an experiment. And of course we have the uh, poinsettia, being that it's Christmas Eve. We're going to be taking this upstairs tomorrow for Christmas Day. And it seems to look really healthy. Got a lot of nice red growth on it. I was hoping that the uh, that up there would have turned red. But, uh, you know, can't always get what you want. <laughs> I mean, you know, th this plant has survived five Christmases. So, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's amazing to me. And it's in a pretty good sized pot now. And my wife was saying that, you know, or Paula, she was saying, you know, hey, we could put that up there and put it on the dining room table for when we have the kids come over for dinner. And I was like, uh, you realize that thing's in a huge pot. <laughs> this isn't one of those small ones you get at the, uh, the nursery for two bucks. Anyway, all right. So one of the ideas I was having with these trays is uh, I may actually take these trays this spring and turn this whole, whole area into an ebb and flow aquaculture system inside this grow tent. And then down below here, what I was thinking about doing is that empty space down there, move that heater out and put it over here, put in a uh, stock tank and grow some fish. So I actually put some fish in there and start doing some aquaculture to where I have a, you know, a bell siphon system set up inside of here to 
afterward, it'll have a little pump down below. It'll pump into these, put some lava rock underneath the base with some uh, media to keep that from separating from the soil from the uh, rocks. And basically, you can either do the ebb and flow, flood and drain, or a wicking bed. So there's different ways you can do it. But I thought that'd be kind of a cool little setup to put inside of here to where I never have to water this thing and then all the nutrients from the fish and the tank down there would get pumped up and put into the base of these trays and any excess water would be filtered down through the plants and then it would come back out and go into the tank as clean, uh, cleaner water removing the uh, fish waste. So I thought that'd be kind of a cool setup to put in here for you guys to watch. And on top of that then I'd have a uh, fish that I could actually harvest, you know, and kill it, uh, fillet it, take it upstairs and have Paula cook it for dinner. So we could have that with our salads. So another interesting idea here on the uh, little urban homestead to do for indoor gardening. Keep you guys interested in uh, watching the channel. And that would definitely be something that can uh, help people make themselves a little bit more sustainable and uh, providing their own food. All right, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. All right, bye guys.